In this video, we're gonna be making dynamic HTML pages by taking our Django model data, i.e. our scores, and displaying them on the front end of our website. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure you're in your Django project directory and you have your virtual environment active. And let's go into our Django app. We're gonna open up the views.py file again. And before we were just rendering out static HTML pages for the index and for the about page. But like I said, with Django, you can make dynamic HTML pages. And the way we do that is with the context. Now, context is just a Python dictionary. So let's define our context as an empty Python dictionary. And for now, uh, until we do a little bit more coding here, the render function actually takes a third argument, which is the context. So we're just gonna set that all up. So right now, no change to the output of our website, but we're just taking this empty dictionary and passing it into our render function call. Okay, we want to ultimately display our model data on the front end of our website. So in order to do that, we can do something extremely similar to what we were doing a couple tutorials back when we were on the Python shell interacting with our score data. So let's do something like that. So again, we can import that model into this view with from score dot models import score. Okay, so remember in the score directory, there's a file called models.py and we defined a model called score in there. So we're just bringing that into this file and then we can create a variable in here called scores that is going to be all of our scores. So score.objects.all. And that's exactly what we're doing on the Python shell a couple tutorials back. Now we can take that, those scores, and put them in our context. So context is just a dictionary. So we can define a key inside of the context dictionary called scores and simply assign that to our scores. So we're essentially getting all of our scores, assigning it to a variable, and taking all of these scores and putting it into our context, which is then going to be passed into our template. So let's do something with those scores in our template. So we'll save that file and we'll open up our index.html file. And before, uh, as a reminder, this is all we're doing. We just had hello world with a link to the about page. Let's make a list of all the scores in here, okay? So we're gonna loop over those scores because there's, I think there's five of them in our database right now. Um, and we can do that with the template syntax for a for loop. So that's gonna be that crazy looking syntax where you have a curly bracket and then a percent sign. And then we can do for score in scores because we now have access to this because we passed it in via context. So for each score in scores, I'm gonna close out this for loop so I don't forget, and for. So for each score in all of our score objects, I'm gonna make a list item where we're gonna say, we're gonna get the scores name and say got a score dot value and close out that tag. And then we're gonna wrap that in an unordered list and close that down here. So let me explain what's going on here, just in case uh, that doesn't make sense. So we have an ordered list, which takes list item elements. And for each score inside of our scores object, we're gonna loop over them and simply print out inside of each list item, the name of the person and the score that they got. And this kind of, I don't know if this bugs you, but I just like having one space on each side uh, of these double curly brackets, okay? That's another part of the Django template syntax. So the, the template tag here uses the, uh, the percent curly bracket. These uses double curly brackets to access those elements in the for loop. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Let's save that, go back to our project directory and run our server and open up our browser, refresh the page. And now we have a list of all of our test participants with their corresponding scores. This looks good, but we can make it better. Let's convert it from an unordered list to a table. So we'll minimize that, uh, stop this, 
go into our score directory and open up our index.html file. So instead of an unordered list, let's make this become a table. So we'll open the table here and close the table element down here. And then we'll have a header for the table. So uh, the first row is going to be a table header uh, where we have the name column. We'll close that out. And then the another table, another column for the score. And we'll close that and we'll close the row. So for each row, instead of doing a list item, we'll do another table row. And each element in here is gonna be a table data. And we'll close that table data tag, open up another one, close that table data tag, and close the table row. I think maybe for the sake of being able to read this, let's format this a little bit better. Okay, that looks good. So. Same type of thing we were doing before. We're looping over the scores inside of a table now. And for each score, we're gonna have a table row with two columns. The first column is gonna say the name and the next one's gonna be the value. So let's save that and go back a level, run our server, and we will refresh our page. And now we see a nice little table, two columns, the name column and the score column. One last thing I wanna do here to help you understand the concept of context in Django is to add a title to all of the pages on our website. So right now we go to this page and we see up here, it, there's, no, there's no name in the tab, right? There's no title for our page, but we can pass it in via context. So let me show you how to do that. We'll minimize this, get out of our server, go into our app directory and inside views.py, um, we can also add another line here that says context called the title. Okay, we're gonna say the title and this one's going to be uh, the home page. And then we're gonna do the same thing down here for the about page. We're gonna make some empty context and we're gonna give it a value for title and this one's gonna have um, the title be called about. And we'll pass that in via context just like we were doing up here. Okay, but now in our template, we need to use that value that we just defined. So let's go into the templates directory. And this is going to be actually modifying our base.html, okay? There's this empty title block up here that we were using before. And any page that extends this base, which is all the pages on our websites, can have a title. So let's access that here with that um, double curly bracket syntax and say title, T-I-T-L-E, close that and save that. So if we go back to our project directory and run our server now, we can and should hopefully see a title for all of our pages. So we'll refresh that. Now this page is called home and the about page is called about. Now, ultimately we want to be able to interact with this data and not just display it on the page. So we're gonna be taking care of that in the next video when we talk about Django forms.